Hey, Summers. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Make Two and another neighbor visit. We got an invitation from Michael to come back to his town to check out his hotel, which is here on the mysterious island next to the volcano and the royal castle. So, this is going to be a really complicated tour because the hotel is built on five floors, including a basement, and it's basically full of wow. stuff. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So let's just go ahead and check out the roof view so you can see what I'm talking about. It's basically massive,、wow. and every, I think, square of this is just kind of packed with stuff. So,、right. yeah. So, but the, the main structure is like a U shape around this central pool. Yeah. Which just is. Just so we can orient ourselves. Yeah, we've got a hotel like that of our own on the channel, which we'll link to if, in case you guys want to see it. Let's just get started. Okay. okay. The main entrance of the hotel is, I think, through these two doors here alongside the pools. And this just goes into a massive reception area with three check in desks all around. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> Then, if you went, let's just go ahead and go this way. You could walk into a kind of like lounge and fun room, bar, you know, just for the guests to like hang out. Yeah. Obviously, there is access to the pool from that area. I mean, it's a massive pool. And through here is the landing space for the elevators and stairs. Through here is, I think, a prep area for the kitchen stuff for like the morning breakfast buffet, perhaps, because you'll see that set of stairs down to the basement. Oh,、uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. So that both, but that the doors from that prep room. Leads straight out onto the swimming pool area. So I thought that's like for. Yeah, so you can, you know, serve people and,、yeah. out here, but also serve people here. <laughs> well, I told you it's going to be complicated. So this is, I think, like a breakfast area because there is also over on this side an actual <laughs> restaurant.、Um, so basically, if you went this way, Yes. Well, first of all, off the pool, there's some showers for guests,、yeah. which I think is a really nice touch. Very sensible. Yeah. Then, if you went this way through this doorway, turned down the hallway here, you'd find yourself in this proper restaurant where the tables are a little nicer and you've got music for a band to play for the guests while they eat. Through、uh, this direction, you get well. First of all, you know, public bathrooms for guests on this floor. Nice touch.、Yeah. And then through here is a really cool thing. I think it's like a gift shop for hotel guests.、Uh. Yeah. So they can buy, maybe even rent, rent or buy surfboards and also little trinkets. That's really love, nicely done. Yeah. These could be like souvenir t shirts and things like that. Yeah. The part of clothes works really well there. Really cool. So that has been the first floor.、Um, Sorry to be the, going so fast. Can we do the basement next? Yeah. Let's do the basement. Just while we're thinking about those kitchens and、yes. restaurants, that'd be cool. So you can get to the basement either from the elevators or that staircase, you know, which we just showed. And if you went from that staircase, you could come out this direction, go through this boiler room to reach the massive kitchen here. Very nice setup. That just, is big.、Yeah. Four ovens in there. <laughs> Then through here is the laundry room for the hotel. Oh,、uh, right, yeah. Again, massive. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Then let's see, if you went along this way, the hallway would kind of duck over here. <laughs> and then it, jo- it sort of joins, s- snakes、yeah. on and then joins the main stairwell. Yeah, the main stairwell. And off of there are a couple of bathrooms. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. And then there's this long corridor going down the length of the building, right? Yes. With decorations on either side. That's really nice. Yeah, these flowers on the wall. So, so this is more for guests, I think. I think so, yeah. Yeah. So then through here is the gym for the guests, which is another nice touch.、Mm-hmm. And off of that gym, you get a couple of spaces. So I'm actually not sure why there are toasters on these tables, but there are. <laughs> There's a similar setup over here, but these tables don't have toasters, so I'm thinking like they're massage tables or places for the guests to chill out, maybe snack or something like that. Yeah. Through here is a sauna room. Ooh, Very nice. Yeah. Then, if you went a little bit further along the hallway, let's see, you took this door. Yes,、yeah, so、there's a the closed th- door. A, yeah, a thin corridor and a wide corridor. Yes, so if you took the thin corridor through here, This is, I think, some sort of office. Just because you've、right. got like a couple of chairs. Yes,、yeah, so、maybe this is like for the hotel manager. Yeah. 
Well, there's another office similar to it. But yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> See, so one's for the manager and one's for... Yeah, yeah, really good use of space. Exactly. Like I said, basically every square has been used in a mm -hmm. really good way. So then through here is another bathroom. Then through here is what I'm thinking is the locker room for the hotel staff. Right, and yeah. And there's another sort of offshoot room here for the staff. Yeah, so you've, yeah, I see that. So basically all the narrow corridor bits are for the staff, and then the wide, nice corridor bits, they're for the guests. Yeah. Yeah. So then the wider corridor bit bends this way, and you see some nice couches and decorative tables and things like that. So that makes me think that these rooms here are for guests. They, they're in the basement, but they're still decorated in a fancy style and are off of those nice hallways, as you said. Yeah, maybe these are cheap rooms. <laughs> Or people who really don't like having light when they sleep. Maybe. Oh, before I leave off, off of that locker room uh, is also a break room for yeah, the okay. staff. Yeah. So if you're in the break room, you've got quite a long walk back to get to, say, the restaurant area. You've got to snake your way all the way around. Yes. Like this way. Yeah. Yeah. Through the narrow corridor, then the wide corridor, then wiggle your way around yeah. back to the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, that's what the staff have to do. That's what they have to do. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so going back up to the main floor, you can then take the elevator or the staircase up to the next floor. And this is where some more guest rooms are. So if we start down this corridor going this way, we've got a couple of rooms here. And... Uh, so those rooms are kind of... Those suites are kind of mirrored of each other. Yeah, which well, makes fit. sense because yeah. it's a hotel and, you know, rooms usually look like that. Yeah, I like that two-by-two two room for the walk-in closet. That's yeah. really cool. This room has a private access balcony here. Very nice. And this room, it's not a private access balcony, but That's the... it's off of the hallway. Like, you can yeah. go onto this balcony here. And it's substantially similar to the one here. Then, if you went down the hallway in this direction, again, these decorative couches and tables, you get a double room here in a different sort of decoration style, and on the other side, mirrored here as well. Yep. At the end of the hallway, we get the first of several really fancy suites in this hotel. Uh, yeah. Wow. There's a lot Not going even... on. So basically, yeah. you get to the suite through this pair of double doors, and... Uh, wardrobe in the entryway through here then is I guess a seating area there's laundry for the suites as well which I think is a nice touch then through here you get into the suite proper so there's a really large living room area with open kitchen and dining so it's like a self-catering suite basically wow. and there are a couple of rooms for the family to share, so you can see, like, yeah, yeah. it's a family sharing this suite. Gosh, and there's a private, private balcony, balcony, yep, which snakes around this round, way. Oh, that's yeah, and that's how you get to those stairs. Its own private staircase to get up to a private balcony <laughs> here, which stretches basically along the entire like inside bit of the hotel. <laughs> this is their own balcony. There's no access onto this balcony from uh, anywhere else. Are there one of their windows from the third? Floor. Hard to tell. Yes. There yeah, are. there are. Yeah. Okay. So they can't do anything too private up there. No. Well, you know, it is a hotel. You know, it's not it's like a house. So. Yeah. Okay. Then. Wow. So yeah. So that's. Let's go up to the third floor now. I think. Yeah. yeah. Third floor. What we get here is the hallway going in this direction. Before we do that, we could do a little hairpin turn into this suite here. So. The door immediately opens onto this wardrobe area with a computer, and then here is the bedroom area with two double beds. I really like the use of that desk, which you almost always, certainly in business hotels, have a desk. Most hotels like you have this, a desk yeah. in the room. Yeah. And yeah. that one I think is a teen desk. Yes. But it works really, really well there. Agreed. I've used it before as well <laughs> in the hotel. So this is their private balcony. Very nice. Uh huh. Very social. Going in this direction down the hallway. You get more of these rooms with mirrored decoration, or mirrored structure and decoration. At the end of the hallway, it bends this way, and then bends this way, so that you get to a couple more 
rooms which are mirrored on either side here. So for instance, if oh, you went in yeah. Yeah, one door here, you'd immediately have the bathroom and the closet, which I think is very realistic. Like most, mm -hmm. or a lot of hotels that we stayed at have, you know, had structures like that where the bathroom yeah. is... Well, because they're the more narrow room. parts of yeah. the, the suite, yeah. So then the actual bedroom part is here, two double beds, and then there's enough room for a sort of sitting room with desk and then the private balcony. And as I said, the suite on the other side basically mirrors that in the structure and the decoration. Alrighty, yeah, now uh... to the fourth floor. Yep. <laughs> so this stairwell now opens on this side. So what we get is a suite which opens in this direction. So this is the seating uh, area. I was thinking you've missed, you've got to no, go around. No, yeah, but... exactly, you have to go around yeah, this so way. Yeah, it opens out there yeah. on the main corridor and then does a 90 degree turn. Yeah, so it has its own balcony here. And yeah. then, um, the as you said, co corridor. Yeah, it goes this way to get to the... Well, first there's a bathroom, a very narrow bathroom here, and also this is the bedroom here, and then another private balcony here. Still with me? <laughs> yep, I am following you, so now we've got to go out. We've Back out to the hallway. Section, yeah, then down the rest of the hallway. And then there's, there's another just... bedroom here. Yes, yeah, so this is a small, relatively small suite. Yeah. Yeah. And what I like about this balcony, Michael's done a really cool thing here, where basically this is all one long balcony, but mm. each room is sectioned off. You can sort of believe that the balconies are separate yeah, because of these trellises. yeah, flower trellises here. Yeah, which looks, I mean, that is how lots of balconies mm -hmm. are divided up in yeah. palm buildings and hotels with those kind of yeah, little bits of wire or wood to separate them. Then, at the end of the hallway is another massive suite. Okay. So, this is the living area for that suite. It's got yeah. a dining table as well. And if you went this way, through this small, narrow hallway, you'd have access onto a very large wardrobe here. So I'm thinking, that, by the way, this is the honeymoon suite because it's basically so massive. And also, if you check out the bathroom, well, first we'll go through the bedroom, which is here. It's yeah, huge. Which is big and has... Makeout couch. Make -out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then, through this pair of double doors is the massive bathroom. So not only do they have... <laughs> You know, double vanities on either There's side. They've got two toilets, two tubs, in that couch, bathroom. and two the couches. honeymoon tub as well. The Three heart shaped tub. Yeah, that is crazy. Two showers. Yeah, it's it's huge. And then they have also their private balcony here. So one. Well, actually, yeah, they have two balconies. Oh yeah, they've got that. So, yes. Oh, wait, um, super fancy. Yeah. But that balcony can be accessed from two. Oh, from two doors, but it's still the same suite. Yeah. Yeah. My, okay. Okay. Now, Gosh. to the fifth floor. So this is really cool. So in one of um, the videos that we did in Michaelstown before, he had a house with a shul in it, which is a synagogue or a temple for uh, the Jewish faith. And he's done the same thing here. So I think this is really cool because we said before in the other one that it was sort of orthodox because you could tell that the women's section is separate from the men's section so that is just really cool i like the way that michael does that in his houses and these are i guess where the torah would be mm -hmm. <laughs> you tell me then through this way we get another upstairs hallway for guests and off of here is an one room similar structure with the wardrobe in the entryway bedroom bathroom private balcony down the hall, you get a very similar room there. Then this way is very cool. What happens here is you get, well, basically a couple of doors. One, if you went this way, you could then go directly onto the balcony here, or you could go forward into this dining hall here. But we're, let's go in the balcony first, because what we've got here is a oh my goodness. This, wedding yeah. area on the balcony. Wow. Yeah, so you remember I said that the shul or the synagogue was for the Jewish faith. So there's a tent here, <laughs> which is meant to be a chuppah, which is basically if you're getting married and you're observant Jewish, then you would have like a cloth on four pillars where the couple would actually get married under. This is actually how we got married. 
Yeah. So yeah, I think that's just a really <laughs> genius kind of way to do that. Like have a tent standing in for the hoopa like that. And I just love the setup. There's like a video camera back here. Oh I mean, yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> And then there's entry onto the big dining banquet area from you know multiple places as you can see. So this is where the guests would have their banquet. Yeah. And then through here is where they would dance. Wow. And again, really there's cool. another video camera there, which I think is of perfect. Of course there is. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. So it's packed <laughs> in a whole bunch of sweets. Yeah. A whole bunch of everything else. Yep. <laughs> and. A wedding venue. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just, it's huge. And I think a really impressive effort. Definitely one of the best hotels I've seen in Sims Replay. So thank you so much to Michael for introducing us to your town and your hotel and for letting us tour it. Hopefully we didn't miss anything in the long tour. No, and muzzle off to the happy couple who <laughs> got married in this hotel. <laughs> Thanks so much to you guys for watching. Please let us know in the comments what you think. And if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims Free Play videos on the way. Thanks for watching.